solopreneurs and side hustlers it is that time man we're going to show you in today's training how do you edit and make plr products your own how do you align it with your brand my top five things that i'm going to add to every plr product that i'm going to put out because at the end of the day what are you trying to do with plr products what i'm trying to do with plr products is i'm trying to increase my brand authority number one I'm trying to increase my revenue in my business. Number two, I'm trying to uh, add content to my, uh, provide content to my followers to continue to grow my brand overall. But you're not doing that unless you figure out how to best edit and rebrand the uh, content so that you can then package it and present it to the marketplace. So. Real quick, if you do not know me, I am Cortez Hustle, everybody's favorite fatherpreneur, founder of Solopreneur Survival School, where I'm on a mission to help you, yes, you, make more money with less effort by combining the right systems, automation, and AI with your unique gifts, talents, experiences, and expertise so that you can make a, create for yourself a passive income empire because if you're like me you want both time freedom and financial freedom and you don't get time freedom if you're spending all of your time fulfilling on the products that you sold this is where plr digital products and things like that come into play if you're not already part of uh, our community, hop on over to CortezHustle.com. There you'll be able to uh, join our free community. In our free community, you will see our How to Make Money with PLR, which is our training series that we're working on now. And if you click on that training series, then you'll see that I have a document ready for you to download, which is a checklist and resource guide for you to keep at the ready as you are dealing with your own PLR products and content. So like I said, today it's all about what are the five things that I'm trying to add to a piece of PLR content to make it my own. Uh, we'll go through those first and then I'm actually going to walk you through the process of how I do that from how do I edit a cover. If I'm doing it myself, I'm using Canva.com, right? That's pretty simple stuff. If I wanted to really be polished, depending on how much I'm going to sell this product for, I might then go to Fiverr and pay someone to really do me a nice digital product cover and mock-up. But I have a lot of that stuff in Fiverr when I want to do something quick, especially if it's a lead magnet or a bonus to an existing core product or offer. So when it comes to PLR content, um, you can use these products to increase your brand authority, right? So if I just go to my YouTube channel, for instance, uh, and yes, this training series is a product. Your YouTube channel is a digital product and you have to see it that way. And I'm gonna show you what I mean when you look at some of the content that I have, uh, even though I'm not logged in on this incognito browser, I'm gonna go to my channel and just show you what I mean by using content to brand yourself, right? So let me go over here and share this with you. So you'll notice that every 90% of what I do includes my picture as part of my brand, right? So I'm gonna go over to uh, videos. And guys, this is simple stuff. These templates I create in Canva so that I at least give my brand a professional look and appeal. So you'll look at this video right here from two years ago. This is a template. You'll notice that when I create templates, I do a certain number of videos with that template. Then I switch it up, right? Here's another template. I did a bunch of videos with this template. Then I switched it up, right? But think of your social media pages as digital products, right? I believe that every entrepreneur should have 
for products. You should have a social media product. You should have a setup product. You should have a signature product, and you should also have a subscription product. If you're building a digital uh, 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 passive income empire, these things are crucial. Social media product. Across all of my social platforms, I always have a professional uh, cover photo. I always have a professional um, profile picture because I'm treating this. This is a product. This is not for I, I'm not here for play play. Right. I'm here to grow a brand that's going to allow me to create. Uh, uh, that's going to allow me to sell products and services. Most of the products that I'm serving, uh, selling are digital so that I can add to my passive income empire. So when I look at, when you look at my YouTube channel, this is my channel, right? This is not just a channel for me. This is an actual product. This video series is a product. I'm still toying around with the name but trust and believe once it's done this series will have its own website domain so when i tell people i do free training you can go here to get it um it's all branded so my cover photo or i think it's called um they just recently renamed this for youtube but you notice it's branded right Solopreneur Survival School, live marketing training, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, and then it's got my handles for them to follow. Every time I do a video, this is today's video, we're live on this video right now, you see the brand, you see my picture, the same picture on just about everything. Why? Because it's all part of the brand. Now, with shorts, they don't allow you to change the cover photos on shorts, but it is branded nevertheless, right? So when I'm talking about using content to create or increase brand authority, start with your YouTube, your social media. Don't treat it like everybody else treats it because everybody else is not in business, right? They are building a brand whether they know it or not but they are not being intentional. I am very intentional that wherever I show up, I want it to be a representation of the fact that I want to serve you. If you are an entrepreneur, side hustler, solopreneur, have a small business and you're trying to grow that thing, especially using the internet, AI, social media, and automation, I'm your guy. I want everything, everywhere I show up, I want that to represent me. So, Start with your social media product. Then you have a setup product that could be a free lead magnet giveaway, right? If I go over to uh, CortezHustle.com forward slash book me, book dash me, this is where you guys can get a free 15 minute consultation. I want y'all to notice something. This, this free consultation is a product, right? It's pick my brain for free. It's just, it's just not a regular calendar. I'm, I, I want, uh, again, every, I want you to really think about your brand and everything that you do. So you can come here and book, but you notice that Solopreneur Survival School, my logo, that same picture that I use everywhere is here. My logo is here. I'm telling you a little bit about myself. That is a product, right? So that is called a setup product. Because if I get on the phone with you and you start telling me what you're trying to do, chances are I'm going to be able to give you some great suggestions and recommendations to help you do it more effectively, more efficiently, uh, and also probably more economically so that you can make more money. And chances are after that conversation, whether immediately or in the very near future, you're going to want to work with me. And then we push you to a core product, right? You have multiple setup products, but make sure you're considering your brand with everything that you do. Now, what are the five things that I do when I get a piece of PLR content? Number one is I'm going to change the cover. 
And I want y'all to understand the power. And as a matter of fact, let me just show y'all this, this one that we're working on. I'm going to show you how it came. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how to really deal with it. So I went to my favorite uh, source. And because I teach people how to turn PLR products into content, I went to see what kind of uh, uh, PLR products are out there. So boom, I went and I found this. Uh, this guy called the PLR Profit Machine. It's a training guy. When I pulled it up to see what it looks like um, as a PDF, I'm going to show you guys that real quick. Because they always, wait a minute, where did you go? They always have it uh, done in a way where you can see kind of what it looks like out of the gate. There it is. So I actually have it open on my other browser. So this is what it looks like when you get it. It comes in a zip file, you unzip the file, and then you can go through it. So PLR profit machine, uh, table of contents. And basically this is, I think it's a total of 12 pages. So it's not that robust, right? And some people will say, well, Cortez is not a real big ebook. Why would I go through the process of branding it? Because your brand matters, man. <laughs> I can't scream to you enough how your brand actually matters. Um, and I'm just talking and y'all ain't saying no screen and y'all ain't saying nothing. So this is what it looks like out of the package. Now, it is good to go right as it is. So if I'm in a pinch and I just need to use it as it is, I can. If I wanted to sell it as it is, I can. But remember, I'm trying to increase my brand authority, grow my brand overall, and I'm trying to make more money in my brand. So I'm not going to use this cover. I'm going to create and change the new cover. The other thing that I want to do is I'm going to change the footers. So right here, there's no footers in here, but I want to put my brand in here in the footers, right? The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change the main content. And we're going to go through this here in a second. But when I look at this content, I'm reading through it and I'm making sure that it aligns with what I teach about PLR content. If I find some parts that don't align, I'm going to rewrite them or take them out altogether. But the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that any reference to tools or education and training, I want to make sure that links back to my core product around this subject or my YouTube training series on this subject. So we're gonna change the cover, we're gonna change the footer, we're gonna change the main content. Two things that I will add to any PLR content is I will add an about me section. Why is this important to me and why am I bringing you this document? Now, depending on the overall size and my intent with the document, will determine how far I go with this. Now, I love creating templates, y'all. I could literally create an about me template that fits any product that I'm gonna do. Chances are I would be more custom specific with each product. But I'm gonna show you how I do that, the about me. I would just add a page. I would add that to the table of contents. And then the fifth thing that I would add to any PLR content is I'm going to add a resource page slash what to do next. Because when people get to the end of your product, if they loved it, they want more of you. And if you don't tell them what to do next or tell them where to go next or what the next step is to working with you, chances are they're not going to take any action at all. Oh, so if y'all are ready to get the ball rolling, y'all want to see me do this in real time as much as we can get through in the next 10 or 15 minutes, give me a one in the comments. And don't forget, if you guys want to really rock with me and get some questions answered, you can join Open Office Hours today. Immediately following this stream, CortezHustle.com forward slash Open Office Hours. All right. So now 
let me show you this. Um, I talked about the fact that your PLR product is going to come in a zip file. So let me just go back to basically what it looks like. So when I get PLR products, I try to stay organized. So I create a folder on my desktop that has all of my PLR products in it. So this is actually the folder after I unzipped it. So I double click, we go inside of the folder. The first thing you should do is check the license. The license is gonna tell you what you can and cannot do with this product. So this is what's called a private labels rights. Private label rights, not to be confused with master resale rights, is a product that you can edit, rebrand, repackage, sell, and keep all the money. So what can you do with it? It can be sold, it can be used for personal use, it can be packaged with other products, it can be modified from the sales letter, it can be changed, the main product, it can be changed, the graphics and the cover, it can be added to a paid membership. It can, uh, I can put my name on the sales letter. I, it can be offered as a bonus, can be used to build a list, meaning I can give it away to collect name, phone numbers, and email addresses to collect the list. Can print and publish it offline. Uh, I can convey and sell personal use rights. I can convey and sell resale rights, and I can even, convey and sell master resale rights like meaning i can sell it and give that person this license and the ability to change and edit and rebrand and repackage and sell it themselves right can be given away for free no and when it says can be given away for free i just can't hand it out but i can give it away in exchange for a name and email right because up here it says can be used to build a list. So I'm giving it away, not for free, but in exchange for a name, email address, and in my case, most of the time, the phone number. Can be added to a free membership website. Cannot be done for that. Uh, can convey and resell private label rights. So I can sell the rights, and, I, and let me correct this. I said I can, I can sell the resale rights I said I, I can sell it to someone else and give them the right to change and edit it. That's not true. I can give them the rights to resell it, but then they can't change it. They can't edit it or anything like that, right? Um, so you have non-transferable PLR rights. You are not allowed to transfer, transfer the source files, the PSD, the words, or et cetera. So that's the license, right? And I'm cool with that. But then I go into the actual product. In the product, they give you different covers. So this is the e-cover that they are using right now. Like I said, I can use that, that e-cover right now and I can go tell my list, hey, I've got this e-book that I wanna sell you for seven bucks and we off to the races. But that does not do what I'm trying to do, which is build my brand authority, uh, grow my brand, my low, uh, uh, um, no like and trust factor, etc. So we're going to change that. But then I get to the actual training guide itself. Now here's the, the, the proof. Uh, here, here's what you want to do. If I'm giving it away uh, as an email list builder or I'm selling it as is, then they give me the uh, PDF that I can download, I can put in my solopreneur sidekick system, and when someone opts in, I can deliver it to them. But since I want to change this, then I need to download the doc file. So any of these files, if you have Microsoft Word, you can download to make those adjustments. So I'm gonna open up the docx file, and we're gonna start a little editing on this, and I'm gonna show you guys how all of this stuff works. Pritchard Enterprise is in the building. What's up, bro? I see you. So when I open uh, the five Microsoft Word, so like I said, that cover is going to change. We're going to do that in Canva. But before I do that, because that's a little bit 
you know, LinkedIn. I, you guys don't need to see that process. What you probably do need to see, though, is how I change the footer so that that is rebranded. Another thing that I will do sometimes if this is a giveaway is I'll add a watermark. So let's just do that. Let me see here. Let's go to uh, review, I think. Uh, no, design. So I'm going to go to design, and then I'm going to add a watermark. We're talking about branding, y'all. And adding this watermark, it protects it. So if someone gets it from me and they start giving it away, it, at least it has my watermark on it. So I'm going to add what's called a custom watermark. And then I'm going to choose, I want to add a picture watermark. I know you guys, you may not be able to see this really clearly, but I'm adding a picture watermark. Then I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to choose a picture. So I'm going to upload from my files. It's going to open up my window and I'm going to go and choose the Solopreneur Survival School um, logo. So I'm going to go over to my downloads real quick. And I'm going to find the logo that I want to use. I believe it's the blue one. So I'm going to pull that in. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit apply. And there it is. And now I'm going to close this. So now all of the pages are watermarked with my brand. Right? It's a whitewashed brand, so you can still read everything. But you can also clearly see that this is my jam right uh so now i have that part done the next thing i want to do is i'm going to go over here to insert and i want to insert a footer so these are the different types of footers that i can insert um so really I just want to go with this one, got page number in the middle, and I'm going to add my website, www. Wait a minute. Oh, I see what it is. I'm like, where's that two coming from? Uh, so I'm going to add my website, uh, www.cortezhustle.com. And now it's saying this is where it's showing up. It is page number two. So really what I want to do is put a hyphen in there, kind of like that. Um, all right. And then I close that. Let me make sure that this is actually going to be linked like I need it to. All right, so I want the link to actually go to my HTTPS. All right, so that's what I want the link to go to, but then I want the display text to still be CortezHustle.com. All right, and then I'm gonna hit OK. All right, so now that footer is linked. So if people wanna know how to get back to me, at least we are good to go there. So if I double click out of it, boom. And if you scroll down and look at all the pages, all of the pages has my website and then the page number. All right, boom. So now we've edited the, uh, we've added a, uh, watermark and we add inserted a footer the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna come down here I'm gonna put my cursor in here and then I'm going to let's see this is I'm going to insert a blank page actually let me undo that 
I'm not going to put the blank page there. I'm going to put my blank page after the table of contents. So I'm going to insert a blank page, and then I'm going to come over here. And let's see, what is this? I believe this is a header text. What is that style? I believe it has to be a header text in order for it to show up in the table of contents, right? So you notice, see how this is that that uh, header text? So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to come here and then I'm going to go up here to style. And then let's see, title, and I'm going to do about the author. All right. Um, let me see. Oh, I did something different. All right, so now I'm gonna match it with this, this size. So this font is a Georgia font and it's 22 uh, is the, the font size. So I'm gonna come back up here, I'm gonna highlight this. Make it a Georgia font, which is interesting that it is not already up there. There we go. So that way it matches everything. Um, then I think they have it bolded as well. And then they have it at 22. And then they got an underline under, no, italics, underline. All right, and then they got it in center. So boom, that's how you would add that page. And then you would just tab down and I would come in here and say H Cortez Springer, aka Cortez Hustle, dot, dot, dot. And then I would spell out everything that I am doing uh, about me and a little bit of my bio and why I think PLR is, is the jam, right? So now you'll notice that there's something else that should be in the table of contents. And if you're noticing that, then you are correct. So let me see if I go to reference, I'm gonna go to table of contents. And then all I wanna do is update the table of contents. So let me see something here. There we go. So here it is, update. There's no table of contents to update. You can insert one from the reference. So they don't have this table of contents uh, listed here so that it can be updated. Uh, let's see, control, click but it is a working table of contents. So I would need to come in here and play around with this and update the table of contents. So when someone clicks on the table of contents, it should go to the table of contents. Uh, let's see. Let's just go and The table of content start by applying a header. All right, wait a minute. So I believe the headers are in here and I don't know what it's telling me now. So I would have to then go in here and make this table of contents. What it's telling me is the table of contents that's in here was not created with my version of word and because it's not 
I would have to go in and redo the whole table and make it all work. So that's a training for another time. But ultimately, you want to do that because I want my about me to be right here and then the rest of the table of contents to go in there, right? Uh, and then the last thing I would do, y'all, is uh, I can't show you all of this, but I would go into uh, Canva dot com let's see all right i'm gonna go to this browser since i uh, i know canva is already connected i will go to canva.com and they already have ebook templates And then all I would do is select an ebook template, customize it, put my picture on that mug, and we would be good to go. Come on, Canva. Canva is popping up. The other thing I would do is I would come over here and ask ChatGPT, give me 10. Ebook titles and sub titles for a PLR profit training guide. So, Canva is up now. ChatGPT is giving me some things. I would just come over here, create a design, and search ebook ebook cover it's going to give me the appropriate size that i need whether you have the free version of canva or the paid version you will have access to uh, the ability to do this you may just not have some of the uh, best images to use but you can always upgrade to the free uh to the paid pro version for a dollar all right, while that's going on, let's look at the titles that uh, ChatGPT gave us along with the subtitle. Um, so, Mastering PLR Profits, unlock the secret to turn PLR content into a lucrative income stream. The PLR Profit Blueprint, step-by-step -step guide to monetizing private label rights content for maximum revenue. I like that. So, boom, I've got some titles here and some subtitles. All I have to do is pick one. And Canva is still super slow on me. Uh, let me refresh and see if we can get her to wake up. All right. Boom. So it's going to automatically open to my blank canvas. But a lot of people are asleep on templates in Canva. So I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to do... Uh, these are the templates and I'm going to say digital product and it's going to give me a template that kind of, and what I'm looking for is a template that's going to look good with my picture in it. I kind of like that one. That's pretty cool. PLR profit, uh, PLR. Let me see one of these titles. Um, yeah, PLR Profit Blueprint. That is something that I could I could see myself using here. PLR Profit. And then this would be the word that says Blueprint. Boom. Just like that. It's got this image of digital marketing. I could probably change that stuff out. Uh, but let's just go back to another design. Maybe I don't want that. Come on down here. Look at some other ebook covers. And I'm looking for one that, that already has a picture in it where I might be able to put my picture in it. Uh, let's see. Make money online. Might be another one. That gives me some good stuff. Uh, so this one could work 
for me if I just wanted to, uh, um, let's see, I'm gonna add that as a new page. And I looked at that one because of the picture. So I can change that picture out and put my picture in there. And inside Canva, y'all, I have my logos and all of my pictures already saved. So there's the picture that I normally use for everything. And boom, I'll pull that up, drop that down. And now all I would do is I'm gonna push it to the back position. Boom. And then of course I would change this title and stuff y'all and boom, it's a done deal, right? So quick, quick, quick little edits that I could do. Uh, last thing I will show you is this, cause I think this is significant. Uh, and I know we're running, eating into our office hours time, but that's okay. I think this is some good, good training. Um, all right, the other thing that I wanna show you that's also important when I'm editing the main content, let me go back to my screen share. This is where understanding the power of affiliate marketing in combination with digital products makes so much sense. So as I'm looking at this stuff, um, uses of PLR material, most often than not PLR material or uh, content includes a Word document which can uh, be revised and this kind of stuff. So I might want to come in here and where the word PLR is, I might want to take some of these words and phrases. Oh, I'm sorry. This is not the right thing. I'm like, why can't I do what I want to do with it? So I need to be in the Word doc version. So I would come in here and wherever the word PLR is, so I might say, what is PLR about? I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna insert a link, right? And maybe I want that link to be a link to one of the YouTube videos where I talk about PLR. Or maybe I want it to be to one of the affiliate programs that sell PLR products that would pay me a commission. So I would do uh, HTTP uh, com forward slash PLR me. Boom. So now this is a clickable link when I save it as a PDF. And I'll go all the way through y'all and do the exact same thing. And then when I get down to the bottom, the last thing I would do is go here, insert another blank page, and then resource guide. And then I will come in here and lay out all of the different resources that a person would need to be successful with not only uh, marketing, uh, rebranding, but also selling their PLR products. So obviously I would link to my coaching program. I would link to our software. I would link to some of the uh, affiliate programs that I am with that sells PLR content. This is how you turn a piece of PLR content that adds value or increases your brand authority, increases your brand, and adds revenue to your bottom line. Tomorrow, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to sell PLR content from the simplest way to sell it to uh, putting it in a sales funnel to make it all work. So make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Come back, holler at your boy tomorrow. 
If you got questions about today's training or any of this week's training, CourtesHustle.com forward slash open office hours. Come hang out with your boy for the next 19 minutes, and I'll answer any questions that you may have. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Until next time, I want you to get your money up because you absolutely can do it. But more importantly, you deserve to do it, each and every single one of you. Now hustle up.